So Joey, we're by the Carmel River, and this is just downstream of the Potrero watershed, uh, or the mouth of Potrero Creek, which is where many of uh, Doug Smith's students have spent hours studying the creek and monitoring stream conditions for us. But this is a particularly interesting site. Uh, it's another CSUMB uh, monitoring location. This is a portion of the Carmel River that is uh, changing, perhaps as a result of the big uh, storm season we had last winter, but also larger forces uh, at work with watershed processes. But we've seen a really dramatic change here. And uh, Doug Smith's students have been measuring the width and the channel uh, shape, the geometry of the channel here, uh, as a part of a very cool monitoring project associated with the removal of the San Clemente Dam. And we were all pretty astonished this last winter to see several large cottonwoods and something in the neighborhood of 30 feet of stream bank disappear. Uh, just caved into the river as the river was flooding. Uh, a great deal of river velocity was pushing against this bank, uh, swept the trees away, opened up a new channel, uh, and really changed the configuration of the river in this location. And in some ways, uh, we are sorry to see that happen in the sense that this is a special place for us. Uh, it's a very unique stand of Santa Barbara sedge uh, that's got some cultural importance for the native Rumson people. Uh, but it's also an important part of the steelhead habitat here on the Carmel River. And while we lost some of our sedge bed, what we gained is some uh, really valuable steelhead habitat. The big trees that have fallen into the river are now providing deep pools that are shaded downstream. Uh, the secondary channel that opened up here created new deep pools. And even as I'm standing here, I can see fish swimming in this pool at our feet, uh, baby steelhead trout which uh, have made it through the summer, even right down here in the lower part of the watershed, and are uh, getting big enough to hopefully smolt this year and return to the sea. So uh, it's such a dynamic system, and the work that Cal State Monterey Bay is helping us do out here is understand the changes, recognize them, plan for uh, changes over time, and adapt to those changes. So here in this place, we have this culturally irreplaceable Santa Barbara sedge patch here all around us. Perhaps as much as 40% of it was lost to the river, uh, but there's a great deal that remains. This is really essential basket weaving material for the Rumson people. Uh, a master basket weaver, Linda Yamane, comes here every year to collect her materials. And this spring, or excuse me, through the spring as the river came up, but particularly this fall as we've seen the result, Linda and I are already talking about how we may come in and transplant some of these sedges further out to expand this sedge patch and preserve it over time as the river continues to do the, the hydrologic work it's going to do in changing its, its uh, channel geometry. We also need to think about the fact that the bridge right up here at Rancho San Carlos Road can be affected by these changes and we'll need to work with many different stakeholders to figure out how to stabilize the stream channel to not only ensure that the bridge is stable over time but also downstream neighbors are protected from flooding uh, in a way that protects the sedges, it protects the fish, it protects our community and it's sustainable. So it's a great little microcosm of these watershed functions and processes that we're all working hard to, to manage over time.